Sneakerhead of the Bay from AngelusDirect.com and I'm bringing you just a quick little video somebody asked for. I forgot who asked me for this video or who requested it, so I really apologize, but I hope you're watching this video right now because you did ask me what camera I use or what cameras to use when you're pretty much starting YouTube. So this is for everybody that's like um, thinking about getting into the whole YouTube game and they're kind of curious on what you should use to record videos with so I'm gonna just go on um, I have a lineup of stuff right here and pretty much this is like my progression kind of so let's get right into it um, before I actually started YouTube I was actually practicing making videos on this uh, one of my iPhone 3G's I think it was a 3GS or it's a 3G I'm not sure but um, this one it actually cracked on the back and I left it by my window for months because I got a new one and uh, I guess with the with the heat how it was cooling and then heating up the plastic it made it expand and contract and BAM look at that it has that uh, that custom looking uh, stand I guess so this is a lost cause right here this is what I think I first started practicing uh, recording videos on so iPhones are always always a go-to product I went through a couple of these I don't know what it is with iPhones but um, I don't know I just I go through them like crazy there's always something that that messes up but um right here this was my first droid I got this when it first came out I used this for my uh, my video on whitening laces my very first video so that was with this droid I just uploaded it raw didn't edit anything no music no nothing like that um, so yeah, if you guys have any smartphones, I would really recommend that because they they have very decent cameras um, and it's pretty easy to use. So so we got that. And then when I started getting more serious in the YouTube game, I started using my dad's camera. This is a Canon S95. I used this for a very very long time. Um, so my earlier videos, I was just using the straight iPhone, Droid, or this. And then, um, and then after that, I upgraded to the iPhone 4. So then I got this, and I was just using it for vlogs and stuff like that. So use that for the vlogs and uh, to some tutorials. But it's kind of hard because I don't have a tripod for it. And then this is my iPhone uh, 5. iPhone 5. If you're wondering why it looks ghetto, like I said, I go through these things like crazy. You have no idea. Um, so, I mean, don't get me wrong, I take care of my stuff, but there's always something that messes up on these, like, okay, I get I get the, uh, the little screen protector thing, I didn't put it on right, but, um, the home button fell out, I glued it back in, it worked for a little bit, and then it fell out again, so I just put the, the blue painter's tape, but I would highly recommend any of the iPhones for, like, um, vlog videos, because you could actually see yourself, and it's kind of, kind of, uh, easier. To record yourself when you can when you see what's going on so iPhones are, are great for uh, vlogs and then we have the iPad I used to record with the the iPad uh, the mini one but I uh, I sold it to my boy before he went to the Air Force so he could uh, contact us and all that so um, this is just a little um, something I use now for the time-lapse videos just because I don't have much space on my phone or my camera it always overheats over like 10 minutes but the iPad it records for a very very long time because I have a lot of space on it so I use this one to do the time-lapse videos and stuff like that for the the longer ones um, no problems with it overheating nothing like that and it also has this little keyboard on it so I could pretty much use it as a tripod um, if you could imagine putting this like leaning it against something and you want the the right angle it's kind of hard but when you have the the keypad and everything like that it's all good um, and right now this is what I'm using it's a Sony a55 that's what I've been using lately to get those high definition shots and all that so this video like I said is for the people that were wondering basically what to use for YouTube or taking pictures anything like that um, Honestly, you'll be good with an iPhone camera, with any smartphone camera, it should be good for video. Um, I also used my iMac for videos, um, 
sometimes when I was just talking to the computer, doing some weird stuff. So, any pretty much anything. Um, just usually like like I said, the iPhones, smartphones, stuff like that. They have very good cameras and it's very decent for uh, the YouTube quality. So, I don't know. It's up to you guys. I'm just letting you guys know this is kind of like the stuff that I, I started out with and what I'm using now. So I'll give you guys another rundown on it. As you can see right there. And if you're wondering what I'm recording this with, I'm recording it with my mom's iPhone 4, which is also my older one too. So uh, shout out to Mama Sneakerhead in the Bay. Hope you guys like this video. Let me know if this is helpful for you guys. I'll catch you guys next time.